yesterday we had Jesus and a few of his disciples coming down from the Mount of Transfiguration. High point coming down to find that the other disciples were having an argument with the religious leaders, the scribes, like the doctors of the law and so forth. So from a pinnacle of revelation, they descend down and find themselves in the midst of conflict. Today's Gospel, which is also from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. Surprise, surprise. We've got a parallel. Now, Jesus wants to keep the crowds away from him because he is instructing his disciples, by that I believe the 12 disciples rather than a larger group, as they walk, he's instructing them about the kingdom of God and what Jesus himself must suffer. So we're talking about the greatest revelation in the world. He is explaining why he will die and after three days he will rise again. So today we have a high point in terms of, te of Jesus' teaching. And what happens? They get to Capernaum and Jesus turns around and says to his disciples, what were you arguing about on the road? Now, no wonder the disciples did not understand the revelation that Jesus was giving them because in their hearts they were arguing about who would be greatest in the kingdom of God. Wow. This shows the difference between fallen human nature and sanctified nature. And then Jesus goes in this wonderful discourse about, about humility and childlikeness. Not childlikeness in stupidity or in ignorance, but childlikeness in innocence of heart and ambition of heart. Brothers and sisters, I suggest there's a tremendously fine line that we have to walk as believers between speaking out the truth but doing it in love and always at the heart of everything we do, regardless of how firmly we need to assert ourselves at times. Always have compassion mercy, the fire of God consuming us in love for Jesus, consuming us with love for the scriptures and denying our own self, indeed our own interpretations of what we think faith is about and always listening and being generous to those who oppose us. yet being steadfast in God's call and mandate. But it's difficult because it's why Jesus, or rather Paul the Apostle, says that discernment, one of the gifts of the, one of the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. We need discernment, first Corinthians chapter twelve, because everything is based on what God is doing and saying, not based on my feelings or my beliefs even. If we go back to the, the first reading for today in Ecclesiasticus chapter, where is it? Chapter 2, we find that my son, if you aspire to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for an ordeal. Be sincere of heart, be steadfast, and do not be alarmed when disaster comes. Folks, we have to be, as a friend of mine said, we have to be like a rhinoceros on the outside, yet like a rabbit on the inside. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs>